Hey, this is Eric, and welcome to Control Alt Achieve for April 21st, 2019. Today's topic four free and easy audio recording tools for Google Slides. The ability to add audio to Google Slides has been one of the most requested features for years. Now, being creative, we've worked around this limitation in the past by embedding YouTube videos in slides or using a tool like Screencastify to record a video um, of the slides while speaking. Now, although those workarounds still do have their place, it is wonderful that we finally have the option to add audio directly to slides. Being able to add audio to Google Slides can be used in so many ways in schools. Uh, you could you know, narrate a slideshow, you could read a story, maybe making an instructional presentation, providing uh, spoken feedback on writing, having students explain a solution, um, giving directions for a hyperslides project, and much, much more. Uh, the only pain point that we still have is the actual recording of the audio itself. You see, even though we can now add audio to a Google Slideshow, there isn't just a simple little built-in record button that you click. Instead, you need to record the audio separately and then you can add it to the slide. So that brings up the big question. What are some easy ways to record audio? Now, when I'm using my Windows PC, I typically use a free program like Audacity, which is great, but many times our students, and us as well, will be using Chromebooks. Uh, so what we need are some simple web-based options. So in this episode, that's what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at four excellent free options for recording audio right in your web browser, and then show how you can take that audio and add it to Google Slides. Now, all of the resources for this episode can be found, as usual, on my blog, this time at www.controlaltachieve.com slash slides audio. There you'll find all the links uh, for all these tools and detailed directions on how to use each one of them. The first tool we're going to take a look at is called Chrome MP3 Recorder from Habla Cloud. That can be found on their website at www.hablacloud.com. That's H-A-B-L-A cloud.com. Uh, this first tool is by far the simplest of the bunch. Uh, this Chrome MP3 Recorder tool is actually a web app though, not a web site, which means it only runs on Chromebooks. Web apps no longer run on Macs and PCs. Uh, so if you're using a Chromebook, this is a fantastically easy tool for you to use. Here's how it works. Now, first thing you are going to need to install the Chrome MP3 Recorder web app, which you can get from the Chrome Web Store. Probably the easiest way is just to go to the Habla Cloud website, which again is Habla Cloud, H-A-B-L-A cloud.com. And once you get there, you'll be able to find the link that will take you out to the Chrome Web Store where you can install that web app. Now, once you've got the web app installed, you can open it as normal from the Chromebook app launcher whenever you need it. Once the app opens, simply click the red button to start recording. You can hit pause if you need to during recording. And when you're done, just click the stop button. The app will now ask where you want to save the MP3 file, which you should just save to your Google Drive. You can also name it at this point to make it easier to find later. And that's it. Uh, there's not really any other editing options with this tool, just a real simple way for anyone to record and save audio on a Chromebook. The second audio recording tool we're going to look at is called Online Voice Recorder. You're going to find this one at online-voice-recorder.com. So for this one, it is pretty much about as simple as the first one, 
And of course it runs on Chromebooks, but it also runs on Macs and PCs. So if you're looking for something that runs on all those platforms, uh, online voice, voice recorder is definitely a good match. Whenever I'm not on a Chromebook, this tool is typically my go-to if I just need to do some quick audio recording on the web. Now here's how it works. You want to head out to the site at online-voice-recorder.com and you'll see a red mic button. Just go ahead and give a click on that to start the recording. You can pause throughout that if you need to and when you're done just hit the stop button. And that's it. Uh, you'll now get a preview of your voice recording. If you need to, you can trim out the start and the end if you got some extra dead space there in your recording. And when you're all done, just hit save and an MP3 file will be downloaded to your device. As simple as that. For our third audio recording tool, we have one called Beautiful Audio Editor. Now this one's found at beautifulaudioeditor.appspot.com slash app. Uh, this tool is reasonably easy to use as well, but it is a little different from the first two in that it does have extra editing features if you would want them. So if you just need to do some simple audio recording, this might have more features than you need, but it would be helpful if you plan to do some extra editing afterwards. Here's how it works. Head out to the website at beautifulaudioeditor.appspot.com slash app and just click on the record button at the bottom of the screen to start your recording. Once you are done recording, you can just go ahead and click the stop button and your recorded track will now be added to the editor. If you need to do some trimming, you can drag the playhead around to get it to the front or back of the audio. And then you can use some tools that are built in there. There is a um, split section and there is a remove section tool. So if you need to trim off something at the beginning or the end, you can do that. When you're happy with your audio, there is a nice friendly download as MP3 button. You can just give that a click and it will generate the link that you need to click on to then download your MP3 file. Now, if you want to do some even extra editing after that, this tool does have other features. There are settings in there to change the audio speed, to combine multiple tracks, to fade the volume in and out, and more. So you can get all of those detailed directions by going up to the Help menu and giving a click on that, and that will open up a website with lots more details on the more advanced editing options for Beautiful Audio Editor, if interested. And for the fourth and final web-based audio recording tool, we have Twisted Wave, which is found at twistedwave.com slash online. So if you need an even more fancy editor, uh, another great option for recording is Twisted Wave. I've mentioned this one a few times before on my blog. Uh, there's a free version and a paid version. The free version allows you to record for up to five minutes at a time, which is probably fine for adding audio to Google Slides. And here's how this one works. Head over to the website at twistedwave.com online, and you can click on the uh, new button to create a new document, a new empty file. That'll pop open a window where you can click on the red record button to start your recording. When you're all done, just hit the stop button as usual. And now your recorded track will be added to the editor. Again, if you need to trim things out, you can do so as well. With this tool, the way you do that is you highlight and select the part of the audio you want to trim out, and then just press the delete button on your keyboard, and it will delete that portion out. When you're all happy with what you've created, you can download this by going up to the file menu and clicking download. Now that'll download it to your device, but notice you can also click in the file menu, send to Google Drive, which is really nice. It will send it directly to your drive. Now it will ask you to log in to your Google account and give it permission to be able to save it to your drive, but that's a lot more convenient uh, since ultimately that's where we're going to want our audio files to be is in our Google Drive to put them in Google Slides. Now, if you do want to do any extra editing uh, on this tool, there are a lot of options in the effects menu. So under the effects menu, you can do things like increasing and decreasing volume, fading in, fading out, adding silence, reversing the audio, changing the pitch and the speed, and much, much more. 
Now, once you have recorded all of your audio with any of these tools described above, you can add that audio to Google Slides. Now, to do this, there are two things that must be true for the recordings. First of all, the recordings need to be in your Google Drive. Uh, so if you save them directly there, fantastic. If not, if they're saved to like the downloads folder of your computer or so forth, you're going to need to upload those into Google Drive. Probably for easy access, I would suggest just making a folder called audio or something like that uh, to put all of the files together in one place so that you can find them easier. Which brings us to the second requirement and why putting them in a folder is a good idea. The second requirement is the audio files need to be publicly viewable so that people can play them. Just putting them in the slideshow itself does not make them playable for people. Uh, again, if you just throw everything in one folder, my suggestion would be to just just go to that folder and share the folder. Um, in your um, advanced settings, you can change this from private to saying that anybody with the link can view those files. That way, when you insert them into your slideshow, uh, they'll be able to be playable by anyone. And by doing it just once at the folder level, anything you drop inside of that folder from now on will be shared and you can insert into your slideshows. So with those steps completed, you can now add the audio directly from Google Drive into your Google Slides as follows. With your Google Slideshow open, just go to the Insert menu, and you're going to find a new option in there called Audio. Now, if you don't see that option yet, it is still rolling out. I think most people have it by now as, as the recording of this particular episode, but it is possible that it is still rolling out to you. It should be there soon. Uh, so go to Insert and then click on Audio, and what that's going to do is open up your Google Drive and allow you to browse or search or look in your recent files to find things you have recorded and saved to your Google Drive. Select the audio file you want and then click on the Select button to drop that into your slideshow. Show. And that's really it. If you want to do a little bit more tweaking, you can. If you select that audio file, you can then go up to the Format Options button in your top toolbar and then open up the Audio Playback uh, menu inside of there. And you're going to see options such as, do you want the audio to play automatically when you get to that slide? Or does somebody need to click on the audio to make it play? And that's just going to depend upon what your application is. Other options include, do you want to loop the audio, keep it playing? Also, do you want it to stop when somebody moves to a new slide or just keep on playing through the entire slideshow? Now, to try this out myself um, and have a little bit of fun with this as an example, um, I took a earlier Google slideshow I had done from a, a post I did uh, a few years back on creating storybooks with Google Slides. And I went ahead and added my own voice narration to each page of the book. Uh, it is the uh, My Pickup Has Hiccups uh, story. Um, so if you want to check that out and listen to that slideshow and see what this looks like in action, I have added that into the blog post along with all the other resources for this episode um, on my blog at www.controlaltachieve.com slash slides audio. You can find all the resources there, the directions, the links to everything we've mentioned, as well as the embedded example slideshow my pickup has hiccups. Now, my guess is eventually Google will probably add a built-in record button right there in Google Slides so you can record the audio and insert it all at one time. But until that happens, these are four excellent tools that give us good options for you and your students to record and save your voice to put in Google Slides or use for any sort of audio recording project. Now, I would love to hear if you have other suggestions for great audio recording tools um, or if you have some ideas and examples of how this could be used in Google Slides or if you want to share an example of something you or your students created. As always, I would love to get your feedback. So please feel free to share any questions, comments, resources, or any other feedback you have in several ways. Uh, you can leave comments below the blog post itself. You can leave comments below the YouTube video, leave a review on iTunes, uh, tag me on Twitter at Eric Kurtz, or just send me an email um, at eric at controlaltachieve.com. And I will try to share some of those comments in future episodes 
for example, uh, from the episode that we did uh, last time on Hipster Google Part 2. Uh, got a nice, um, got a bunch of great feedback on the blog post. Uh, please check out those comments below that blog post. Uh, but one in particular, I wanted to thank uh, Chris McCaffrey for sharing a link to his collection of lesser known Google tools. You guys can check that out at tinyurl.com slash hidden g tools so that's tinyurl.com slash hidden g tools that'll take you to chris's uh, slideshow where he shares uh, a whole big list of lesser known google tools as well and you can pick up some more neat ideas there as well uh, in addition to that a big thanks uh, for the itunes review that was left by mo physics uh, the review read love seeing eric kurtz on this new podcast not too long but content dense uh, subscribe now and you'll be glad you did thank you eric for the great learning opportunity well thank you mo physics for taking time to leave some awesome feedback i really appreciate it so until next episode be kind to each other and be kind to yourself take care Oh, schnuck, 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 sch